Hey, this is Phil from Saturday Morning Gaming. Thank you for tuning in. This is part five of Oxen Free. Check it out. Uh, put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? You kids better go. Oh, um, Chad's Lake House. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a freaking weirdo. Uh, yeah. Clarissa? Your Highness. Look, I think, like, don't take this the bad way, but you need help. Oh, do I? What kind of help, may I ask? A priest, I think. You may be polluted. <laughs> you are really taking all of this much too seriously, but I appreciate the concern. Hey, Nona. Hey. Okay, so this is probably a terrible time to bring this up. Actually, I know it is, but Ren really does mean well, so just take it easy on him. No, uh, please, let's talk about something normal. But, uh, yeah, I will, no problem. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Find anything useful? Not yet, but you know, the night is young. How's the, um, Nona stuff going? What do you care? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? I just don't get it. Well, you were being a total goober. What do you want me to say? I mean, a second brownie. You know that was dumb. And what did it affect? Nothing. I don't even know why I'm arguing with you. Just forget I said anything. Go about your business. Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex! Oh, Alex! Come down here, please! We have something we want to show you. <laughs> uh, Clarissa? Where are you? In the family room, dear. We're all in oil, marinated, so to speak. <laughs> Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor.
Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Come on, Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Why are you doing this? I thought you... You guys were stuck here, or, or that this wasn't... You signed up for this, Alexandra. In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without, without understanding, understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, ten, nine, eight, seven. Is it. Are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models and the X rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. Sure, my other sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're. we're I not... spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Uh, is it the, the... this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. Mommy duck called quack quack quack. But four, three, two. The, the picture of of I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing. Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and well. Only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Okay, if we... if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. The not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use the waves to absorb into your friends so that sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. Wait, what... what happens to them after you're... absorbed? Their form will exist with us inside. It will be a swap, you see, of... essences, I guess you could call them. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn. And so are you. We would spend our time wisely. And we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. He should go to school here. 
Okay, seriously, who are you? Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ah, uh, no. But I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost? No, it... completely that's the plan. Of course it is. Clarissa is not going to be the human sponge for some evil island ghosts. Not on my watch. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. All right, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields anyway? Wait, is it a Fippany? It's a Piffany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Uh... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like... this looks like the end, but from the... from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Okay, any other ideas? Preferably ones that aren't unnecessarily complicated and obtuse and hanging by the thinnest spiderweb thread of relevancy. All right, then. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever.
All right? Break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me. I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! Okay, are you... are you back to normal? I just saw... It, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. Uh-oh, uh, that's not good. I guess I'd been convincing myself I was immune because of my generally happy demeanor. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider to them. But the thing with Ren, it was so real. It was like it, I was there with him. Maybe we should go back. But I'm sure he's fine, so let's finish what we started. <laughs> no, look, it kind of made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Because if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Look, Jonas, it was real, all right? As real as the other loops or any of the other hundred crazy things that have happened tonight. Don't say that! What am I supposed to do with this? It's not like I can really avoid drowning any more than I can normally do on a daily basis. You're on land, Ren. I don't think anything's gonna happen. But then, why would she... why would she have this vision just then? Just be careful, alright? I don't know why I saw what I saw, but just keep on your toes, okay? Well, I am now, yeah. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. <sighs> alright, well, uh, see you after. I just hope so. Don't say that! You know what time it is? It's four in the morning. Which is usually about the time everyone decides if they're going to bed or ordering another three pizzas. Yeah? What's your vote usually in, uh, that situation? Uh, never leave pizza on the table. It's like getting 11 in blackjack. Just double down. Don't even think about it. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? It really doesn't matter if I think it's gonna work. It's sort of all we have, and we're running out of time. It is all we I have, yeah. I just, stuff I just wish I felt like the ghosts were from, like, concerned their that their plan won't work. Something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> Ugh, not this again. We're in another time maze thing. Ugh, okay. We were due. It's been like a minute since the last one. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... hope that.
Ren! Nona, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... How? I, I mean, yeah, we just saw you. How, how did this happen? He... He drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... He just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done, in this case, is... Friend, whatever you want to call it, I know you're doing it. Just fix it! It's not us doing it, dear. We weren't lying. The time loops, as you've taken to calling them, which we do find so adorable, are of your own making. Yeah, sure. Just like you infesting us like lice isn't your fault either. That we have and will own up to. But the other stuff, that we're afraid is on you. Alex, we know you're in charge and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And you should... Closing the tear in the cave might work. You, you don't know that for sure. We do know that for sure. We've seen others try, we've seen you try. So pay attention. It's already over with Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends, like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really need the one, anyway. I don't, I don't get it. Why do you even need my permission if you have her already? Don't misunderstand. We don't need anything from you except what we can willingly take. We're merely offering you an arrangement that would leave both parties satisfied. Well, somewhat satisfied. Oh, forget it. No deal. Everyone is coming home with me. <sighs> Courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Hmm? <sighs> Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? He was your best friend, Alex. I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what happened. One minute he was there, and then he was just. It's okay, Nona. You. You didn't do anything wrong. I know it's not your fault. Of course, it's not your fault. I didn't know him that well, but I like what I'd gotten to know. I'm sorry. It's. I shouldn't. It's colossally stupid of me to talk about him like that with you here. This is. He was more important. 
No, not really. Ren would be flattered to hear you say anything about him, so if he can hear this at all, trust me, he's over the moon right now. Sure. It's a tiny thing, but I hope he knew that I liked him. And I don't know if he did. He hopes he did. I think that's enough. Like I said, it's a tiny thing. The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God, that was... My mouth feels like I just ate a tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... Hello? Anyone there? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow... I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? Anybody! How are they... Jonas? Like, doing that? Uh, Jonas? Beats me. Jonas? I mean, there has to be, like, a switch on their end or something to control Seriously, the, uh, right in the throat. talk box. Jonas, don't listen. Uh -huh. We're all set here right. for the, uh, the thing? I keep forgetting the this thing. machinery, that. beacon hug, or okay, whatever I'll we're just doing. Have to tune it. Yeah, let's do it. Time's a wasted. Like actually wasted. Like I feel my body wasted away. No, it's it's okay for like dealing with stuff. We have to deal with stuff. What stuff? The uh, when I almost. Hello, we're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello! This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Um, look, the, the ghosts told me they wanted to, to make a sort of deal for Clarissa. What? I said no, of course, but I, I don't know. I just thought you guys should know before moving on. All right, well, let's do the, the thing and get into the shelter and try and fix this fast. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Hey, we're awesome. Awesome enough, at least. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Will they close the time hole and save the day? Till the next episode of Saturday Morning Gaming, where we finish out Boxing Free.